Am I supposed to be looking at this? Oh. All right, here we go. Hello, world. This is James. This is Rusty. And uh, hi. hi. We, we are back. So many of you have been with us for a lot of webinars. And if you were here several weeks ago, when before we had the green screen up and we just had the whiteboard back there, I would occasionally attempt to draw things with greater or lesser degrees of what I perceived as success. And every time I sort of criticize my ability to draw, all of you would jump into the Q&A section and be like, no, 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 it's great. It looks, it, it, good job. <laughs> and that, that felt so good. It was so validating uh, to me to have that positive encouragement. And I wanted to bring in Rusty, who has been a friend of the school for many years. And uh, he told me, oh, thank you, yeah. He told me years ago, anyone can draw. So I was like, I can't draw. He said, no, 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 anyone can draw. So I brought him hit here to remind me, convince me, and help all of you to, let's do some art. Let's draw, man. Yeah, so I am using James as my guinea pig. And hello, you all out there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ah, there's some people in here that know you. <laughs> Here's Mackenzie and Denali. Oh, and no. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hi. Yes, this is Rusty's first webinar, and I should have had this idea weeks ago. All right, let's see. Let me move this down here. Go ahead and hold that up. Let, let, let's see if we can see that. There we go. Can you see it? This is a Rusty bird. And uh, those of you who are familiar with the school here, you might have seen birds like this on, painted on the walls around the school. You see that? you know it's gotta be rusty. Okay, so whether you don't have a lot of confidence in your own art, like I do, or whether you're a very seasoned, experienced art professional like Rusty or anywhere in between, we're with you on this. Yes. Okay, I, I give myself into your capable teachings. Great, well, uh, there's a couple little um, things we're using. One is we couldn't <clears throat> make pencils be seen so you could see it. So what we did, you guys, I want you to get some paper and some pencils or a pen, something like that. So you can kind of play around while you're listening, okay? So as I'm teaching James, so, cause I am an art teacher. He is. So anyway, we're using these big clunky pieces of dark charcoal, but you can just use a pen. What's really good is a pen that will smudge. See if your pen will like, you can, after you draw something, you can zoop with your finger and make it smudge. And that helps you get shading, you know, and stuff like that. So before we get going, James, <laughs> I want to tell you the rules. Okay. Most, if you guys are familiar with uh, the Delphi at, here in Oregon, our art classes, you'll know these rules. But I'll tell them to James. Do you okay. know what the rules are? Um, have fun? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The first rule is don't be careful. All right. I will be very careful to be sure. Not to be rule. careful. Yeah. It's, it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> okay, and the second rule is, don't worry about the second rule, but the first rule is okay. the, the most supreme important rule. Got it. You can't be careful. And I don't care about quality. I want quantity. You got it. Okay. <laughs> so um, since this is drawing, we're not doing like painting and stuff today, but um, basically, we're gonna draw. All right. So what, what do you know how to draw? So I know how to draw, I'm from Michigan, and I know that there's some people on the chat here that I've known over the years. By the way, Corbin Springer says hi. Hi. He's, chat and he's there with his younger hi. siblings, Cassidy and Preston. <laughs> hi, Springer clan. Um, Corbin, I know that you know I'm from Michigan. I love Michigan. I can draw the Michigan M, that big block M. Let's see it. All right, good, I'm gonna start drawing that. Can you, I hope you guys can see this. There we go. And, yep. and you should have your pen or pencil and some paper. In fact, 
we have this this kind of paper here, which I was told I could just rip it off and throw it away. That didn't seem very careful. <laughs> good, yay. So I'm setting a good example. And that's what art teachers should do. They should set a good example. So I'll put this uh, charcoal big, it looks like a cigar. That's right, you know. You don't mind if I uh, smoke my charcoal, do you? Uh, no, Is not inside. A, oh, not okay. inside, yeah. Well, I'll put it out. Yeah. I, I just got done with a webinar on how to handle fire emergencies, so yeah. Well, you would know what to do in case my cigar didn't go out. There we go. <laughs> Yay, that's great. I okay. can draw an M. That's very that's important good. to me. So you can draw letters. Yep. That's good. Good. So how about, can you draw a house? All right, good. I am going to try to draw, no. I am going to draw <laughs> a house here. I'm going to catch myself Yay. saying this. All right. We got We're, people from Michigan. All right, hello, Michigan. And we got people right. tuning in from Oak Crest Private School in Dallas, Texas. Hey, y'all. Hey, guys. Okay. So get a pen or a pencil and some paper and start drawing while you know, we're waiting for James to finish his drawing. Move the camera just a tad. There we go. Just give ourselves a little bit more table. Oh, that we yes, can see. yes. Perfect. There Perfect. we go. All right, a house. A house. So you guys out there can draw a house too if you want, or you can draw anything. Um, while James is drawing his house, I'm not like, interrupting. Oh, no, okay. please. So I am here for you. Basically, I want you guys to know that um, you know, if you encounter, if you find some, some things about art or drawing that you hear about it, like a word that you heard, and it's like you go, what's that? It's really good to, to find out what it is. And you can ask somebody or you can Google it or you can look in an art dictionary. This is an art dictionary that I have in the art studio and it's great, great one. Um, and it has lots of definitions, real simple definitions. Like, anyway, we need to use it with James, we will. <laughs> and then, um, anyway, what I wanted to say is with paper, you don't need like special paper. You don't need a special pencil. You don't need a special, well, it's nice to have a pen that kind of smudges so you can, you know, use it as your shading. But this is just like an envelope. You can, you know, you get what's inside. Yep. You've got a whole surface there that you can draw on. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Hey, that's really good. Okay, so. How about a tree? Here's a house, okay, let, let's put a tree. <laughs> this is um, the house that I grew up in when I was a kid and we used to have a tree. We had to cut it down because. So you guys out there, get your pencils, get your pens, and get your paper, and start drawing something you know how to draw. That would be good. Do you have any questions, James? You know, how, I was going to ask how careful do I need to be, but uh, <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest. I, I was going into this like, okay, I really need to be careful to draw. A th and then as soon as I stopped caring about making it, good or perfect. I, I'm actually pretty happy with this tree right here. It's got the fluffiness of the leaves. Um, let me move this. In. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Awesome. How about... That's recognizable as a tree. Um, okay. Can you draw, let's see, a house, a tree. How about, can you draw a boat? I'll draw a boat if you draw a boat. Oh, really? Uh-huh. This... Uh-huh. Challenge sure. time. Sure. Challenge time. Okay. We're drawing boats. If you guys want to draw a boat, do so. All right. So let me see. I'm going to go with more of kind of like a pirate kind of boat, like a tall ship. My son is really into the Pirates of the Caribbean movies right now. Yeah. So you're drawing a pirate ship? So, yeah. So I'm going to go with a two-masted tall ship. Well, I'm just doing a normal old sailboat. weird maybe it's a fishing boat like from over in italy oh nice so anyway uh as we're drawing here um this is fun for us i hope you're having fun too although that's not the rule the rule is don't be careful which i'm trying to do too because it's something you have to work on a little bit 
Yeah. Well, so you heard him. He said, don't have fun. Wait, no. <laughs> yes, this is serious. All right. Uh, Mia said, I'm going to draw a flower. Yes, draw a flower. Um, <laughs> all right. Where did you get that idea? To draw the, the Mia, but she must really like, oh, behind us. <laughs> right. the, the wildflowers behind <laughs> us. I just see, I'm going to turn it off really just briefly here. Um, all I see behind me is this. We got this green that, screen behind us. That looks pretty good, actually. That looks pretty good. That's okay, pretty good. so your boat done yet? Uh, just about. Just about. I just need. I want to put a sailor in my boat because. Oh, that's a good idea. You know. Otherwise, it's just drifting at sea. Right. Okay. Good. So uh, let's now see. we're uh, getting into drawing. Good. Levania's on here. She people. says that her students love to use crayons and markers. Something yes. interesting using those. Oh yeah. Um, Those is, work good. This is basically a crayon. Yeah. Remember, guys, don't be careful. Good. Because when you're careful, you think you, I, I don't know, I do a better job when I'm not being careful. You know how when you're just goofing around, it's like you, um, you don't care how it comes out. It's like, but then you look and you go, wow, that's good. And that's when you start to go, well, it's good. I better be careful, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to ruin stop this. Just goofing off, and you know, you know what I mean. Good. You done with your boat? I'm done with my boat. Okay, Yay! let's see. Um, Me too. Evelyn says you can have, you can't have fun and not be careful. Good point. Ethan says he's going to work on his what, fan. What? What? what, what was All right. That? Evelyn says you can't have fun and not be careful. That's so, true. Yeah. Yeah. That Wait works. a minute. What? You cannot have fun and not be careful. So if it, so, you can have fun and be careful. You can have fun and not be There's a number of different ways that that could be understood, and I agree with them all. You know? Okay. Ethan says he's going to work on his fan art. Good, yes. And Jolly says that they're drawing a Harry Potter Dementor attack. Awesome. Nice. Now we're talking. Joey's drawing the house that he lives in. Uh, Corbin, oh, good. Corbin says those are blue bonnets, the state flower of Texas. <laughs> All right. Wow. Oak horns. Nice. Sideshow's going to draw a butterfly. Okay, well, good. Remember, guys, quant quality. No, quantity, not well, quality. You want you want quantity. One of the Reeveses says that they're drawing a dragon. They, um, I'm done. I, I want to know if it's Mackenzie or Denali. They said, I have 19 drawings of them, and I'm pretty good. Awesome. All right. Good. Okay, so next we want to there go. There's there's my um so if, if this is the house where I grew up in, there's now <laughs> a two masted oh. ship coming down the oh. road that I grew up on. So and then there's a guy at the front, he's got a periscope uh, a, a telescope. A telescope. Actually telescope. that looks great. Where's your boat? Ah, it was right there and I didn't even see it. There we go. That is really good. He's good. Ah, thanks. You're good. Okay, good. So Shannon's next, gonna draw bow and arrows and Katja's gonna draw a portrait. A pig. Okay. Good, a pig. You might as well have another page. Huh? Yeah, let's go to a new page here. You That's guys, good. you know, you'll find that. What are you doing with your art? Well, you said oh we're gonna my throw Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. You said quantity. Here's the thing. I, I know, but you can keep them. It's true. After a few okay, short a, minutes, I feel confident that I can get rid of some of my artwork <laughs> and just create more to fill the void. Okay. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I feel like yeah, I have yeah. mortally wounded. No, 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 no. That's fine. As long as you're fine with it, I'm fine with it. Let's see. I think I'm going to go with just some basic circles here. Got his little pig nose right there. Uh, good. Got some ears. It is so much easier to draw with a pencil than a piece of charcoal, I think, because I'm more used to it. Used to it more. Uh, several weeks ago, when Becca was starting her art history webinar series, she was doing cave paintings. And I felt pretty good about a boat. I don't feel great about this pig. So now I'm going to do it's now like you're a cave painting. Yeah. So I'm a guy doing a cave painting of a pig. So as long as it's remotely 
recognizable in 20,000 years when someone finds our cave. I think they're going to say, God, they have weird animals. <laughs> Boy, I guess all the pigs are deformed. <laughs> There's too much pollution. All right. What kind of uh, dinosaur is that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. You know what? I just leaned into it. Let's have confidence in whatever we do. Okay. The last thing I want you to draw is a donut. Oh, yeah. I can do that. Me too. I have a lot of experience with donuts. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I kind of forget how to draw a donut. but You don't have to draw what you remember or what it, you know, I mean, that's part of being careful. You just draw it and you look at it and you say, I could approve on that. <laughs> or you know. it's perfect. It's art. Yeah. That's the best thing to say. See, my donut looks, it totally doesn't look like a donut. So forget it. I can't draw it. Oh, Yours go. looks like a donut. All right. So I went with, um, you know, I drew the outer oval, right? Because I'm looking at the circle from the side yeah. and the little oval in the middle. And then I started putting sprinkles on it. And then I realized that my sprinkles were like mathematically perfectly spaced apart from each other. So then I added more sprinkles until it wasn't perfect. Well, that's good. You drew it. Now I'm going to draw a top-down view of the donut. Oh, wow. There we go. You're doing a whole <laughs> donut shop. I want donuts so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. What's your favorite kind of donut? Oh, man. I just, I love all donuts. Um, <laughs> but if you put anything on it with some, like, sea salt, like the big chunky sea salt on top that just enhances oh, the yeah, flavor Oh, yeah, you're talking about a gourmet donut. Let's go do gourmet donut. Okay, let me catch up on the uh, like comment section here. Um, oh, so actually, I, can you tell us what paper you're drawing on? This will come in handy for the holidays. This well, is, <laughs> give a shout it's out. It's big paper. Uh, I guess this is from Canson. That's the name of that company. There we go. Newsprint and paper journal, newsprint and paper. There we go. It's big too. It's big. This is little. This is normal. Good. In fact, this is old computer paper. Yeah. Um, uh, Levine says, drawing like a backyard say, and a pool. Uh, oh, Sasha's asking, are these um, charcoal like chalks? Yeah, this is charcoal, right? Yes. Yeah, this is charcoal. And Jacob asks, am I left-handed? I sure am. I don't think I could wow. do nearly quite as much with my right hand because I've been using my left hand my whole life. It's um, That's really good. You know, I can kind of draw with both hands, but only when I break my arm you know, <laughs> uh, you know I, it's definitely not as easy i don't have as much control with my right hand but that's right-handed that's right-handed that's left-handed not bad not bad okay Aren't good they? okay so basically the reason james yes the reason i had you do the draw a house a tree a uh, boat a donut and a pig was because that's I, where the way I learned to draw is this book right here. It's called The Draw Squad. Oh, wow. And it's for kids. Have you ever seen it? No, but I love that guy's <laughs> shirt. I Let me hold this up a little okay. bit closer. This guy's jacket. He's got like, like a bandolier from an old, you know, Western movie, but it's full of crayons. That's amazing. That's Commander Mark. Commander Mark. <laughs> Anyway, I, I he think did, I know my next Halloween costume. He did these structured drawing <laughs> lessons that teach, like it's basically geared for kids to teach them to draw. And Perfect for me. This is so, it's, a, it's like you learn step by step how to make things three-dimensional. Three-dimensional is where it looks like it has depth on a flat paper. And anything you can do to make something look like it has depth on a flat piece of paper is what is called perspective. Okay. I'm Making it, yeah. you know, it looks like it has, it looks like real life. I know the first thing about perspective, but maybe not the second thing. What is the Just, second thing? You know, I, I do remember, you know, you can draw, you know, square, 
and make yeah. a cube, you just get lines. Yeah, I, yeah. Going back like that, and that looks like a cube. Yeah. Oh, someone asked to see my right-handed drawing. Let me hold it up here real quick. This is left hand. That's right hand. They look pretty similar, but it was a lot more difficult to draw with the right hand. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, this drawing, the pig, yes, looks kind of very flat. Flat. Yes. Where your donut and your cube look kind of three dimensional. Yeah. Pretty cool. Almost well, like I could eat it. This book teaches you how to draw things three dimensionally. And it's really good. It's just step by step and you do a lot of the things over and over. But let's do the first lesson. Okay, let's do the first lesson. Because <laughs> the first thing you do is you draw all those things I said and it sort of shows you the flat things and the more round things that you Great. draw. All right, let's get into it. Um, Aiden says that the table is quite hard to see. It's very bright. I know, I was messing with the lighting in here earlier and uh, trying to do the best that I could so that you could see what was happening. And that's why we're using the, the, the darker, very kind of thick, dark lines so it's easier to see. So draw darker, James. Draw darker. I will draw <laughs> darker. Okay. There we go. There's a nice dark donut. The first thing you're going to draw is a happy birthday cake. Happy birthday cake. Okay. So you need I, I don't a new know piece of that. paper. I'm not going to tear it off. No, it's I'm our not example crumble it. for flat and round. <laughs> for yeah, okay, you got it. So lesson one. I feel is, so bad about getting rid of that first drawing. You should. <laughs> a lot of people when you when you did that, they went. <gasps> yeah, but it's okay. You learned something. Yes, I did. <laughs> Don't destroy art. Okay, so that's the thing here. They, okay, they so can't really see the book, but I'll, I'll they can see your finished thing. Good. So, so it says. Do Draw it. some guide dots. So I'm gonna dark. Two dark guide dots. There we go. I got my ruler here. So <laughs> <laughs> Don't be careful in drawing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So All right. So two guide dots, and then it says to draw an arch connecting them. Yes. There we go. And then I'm sure you all can't see that. Yep. It's there. Yep. Yeah, that's, I mean, huh. And then draw another one yeah. on the bottom like that. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. It says this line is much easier if you turn your paper upside down. Okay, good. I didn't have to do that here. That's because he's left handed. Oh, hey. <laughs> Go, lefties. All right, and then draw two lines down. I make sounds when I do it. I go, whoop. Bish. There we go. All right, we got two lines going down there. And then curve the bottom even more than you think you should. Okay, so let me do that. But don't be careful. Don't be careful. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, there's more. All right, so now we have a cylinder. Okay, people. Now, yeah. Yeah. See the that line right there? I know you guys can't see it, but he can see mm -hmm. it. That one there? Draw that one. Okay, I'm gonna draw this. See how that made it look more? Now it looks like a cylinder sitting on a table. Yeah. Okay. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, now you can add extra stuff and make it into whatever you want. Like you don't, I made mine into a drum because I'm a drummer. Mm, there you go. I am going but, to make mine into a bucket of popcorn. <laughs> Just circles showing popcorn, I suppose, is. We're going to think it might look like popcorn. <laughs> you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. The human uh, mind sees what it wants to see. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, good. And then. Uh, I think you guys could see that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And then a lot of popcorn buckets have stripes on them. I hope you guys are drawing out there. Oh, you better be drawing. I'm going to get, at the end of this, I'm going to write in our email address that you can take pictures of what you drew. <laughs> Ooh, that would be great. And send them in to us. I would love to see. And I'll, I'll make sure that Rusty sees them too. Yes. The uh, things that you guys draw. So I'm going to give stripes on this popcorn bucket. I could have made this a birthday cake, but 
Uh, okay, remember. He said not to be careful. Well, I did say not to be careful, but I also said draw birthday quantity, cake. not quantity. Good. Yeah, not quality. So that looks to me like popcorn. There we go. So that's really good. So now do the next drawing in lesson one. <laughs> do I sound like a, no, it just a the, the paper. Teacher? No, not oh. at all. Not at all. The paper <laughs> folded over on me. There we go. That, if I told you that was popcorn, I could make a strong argument for that being true. Well, what you should say is, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> And to the Q&A section. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Misha said that she made a mug. Ooh, that's cool. Yes, yes. That's that's adding extras that, of your Good. own. All right. Um, great. The comment section approves. Thank, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Good. So next one. That, you're, that, was, you're gonna that was pretty draw, simple. Right? You're going to draw a simple television. I'm going to draw a TV. Yeah. Here TV. we go, people. So an here, old style TV. Yes, uh, vintage. So it says to draw four guide dots in kind of a uh, diamond shape, diamond pattern like that. Is that coming through? Okay, good. And then it says to connect them. So I'm going to connect them a night dark. Make remember to make the sounds. Yeah. Yeah, we have a diamond, and now it wants me to draw from these corners down a bit. Those are about equal there. And then it wants me from this corner, draw down, but longer. There we go. And now it wants me to draw out like that. Remember the sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Good. All right, so we have a cube here. All right, I knew how to do a cube. Yeah. And yeah. then I guess now we just kind of decorate it a little bit. It has here kind of an antenna on top. Boop. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> hey, it looks like a thing. Great. We got, we got Great. the boops. Boop. And we got the weep. You don't have to do exactly weep. what they say. You can. Beep, beep. There's a screen. Okay. We got some dials. And then. Uh, I always remember there there being kind of slats, like vents on the side. To let the air out. It got hot <laughs> in there. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, y'all, it's a TV. Da -da 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 -da. Because there's no live sports right now, we can use this to watch <laughs> a replay of the 1997 Stanley Cup playoffs. Detroit Good, James. One. So next we're going to do, you ready to do another one? Ready. Okay, let's see. Um, Annex says they made a can of tuna and a can of corn. Nice. All Evan's right. drawing a bucket of horse feed. Right on. Yeehaw. Next step to draw a horse. A horse? <laughs> Not you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so a simple candle is the next. A candle. Okay. Simple candle. Simple candle. Just All right, a people. Simple candle. Let's do a simple candle. We're gonna start with guide dots. I'm starting to feel a pattern here. Starting yeah, you're learning to draw three-dimensional drawings. Basic skills building on themselves. So guide dots, arch, and then opposite arch. Okay. Hey, that was good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll draw wow. down. And then it wants to curve the bottom. I remember it said, curve it more than you think you need to. So I made I this down for you. Oh, thank you. Now it has two lines in the back. So it wants us to do guide dots here and here. Beep, beep. And then curve up. Beep, beep. So now it looks like our candle is sitting on a table, a circular table, side little side table. Uh, it said, turn your paper upside down for this line. Not if you're left-handed. <laughs> and wants us to go down like that. So we've got some perspective here. Mm. You know? You you might have. Yeah, that's good. I like that. It yeah, kind of, yeah. I was just realizing it looks like the um, top of like a toothpaste tube. So you, you, you need another line. 
Mm. Oh, okay. Next step. Here we go. And now it wants you, me to do there. here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's the next step. Good. Great. And then it, um, oh, I see. And, and then we've got, great. So we've got our candle and it's sitting on a little saucer on a table. And then it has kind of a wick. That's so you can light it. You could add extra stuff, you know, you could like do anything you want. Well, it got some drips coming down the side here. Ooh, yeah. You know, one time I took a candle and it was so cool and I held it up and I kept holding it and the wax dripped right in my eye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I almost went blind. I had to wear sunglasses to school. Oh and no. my teachers hated that. I didn't think that story was going there. <laughs> I, I thought it was gonna be something nice and artistic <laughs> and poetic. No, okay. I hope that you all are following along with this. We just made a candle. Yes. I even believe that that's a candle. It is a candle. Let me rewind really quick to our, um, to our pig. In just a few short minutes, we've gone from cave drawing pig. <laughs> I've literally seen cave drawings better than this one to, you know, a candle that I believe. Great. Okay. And that's only lesson one. There's like 30 lessons in this book, but you actually only, to learn all the techniques, you only need to do 10 lessons. That's so cool. And then I guess it just builds on that. It does, it, it builds, builds on the basics. Builds. Good. Um, Anjali mm -hmm. says, I drew a face and a girl uh, arrow with a clock and a cereal box. Cool, wow, you're churning this up. Quantity of drawings, <laughs> this is great. Um, That's good. Kira drew a Hufflepuff symbol, yeah. I'm a Ravenclaw, but I love Hufflepuff too. Um, Ranbeer that says, example of not being careful. Good. Yes. Like it. What, yours? I, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, good. That's good. good. All right. Okay. Let's go next. I, I, next. Feel, I feel energized. We've got 11 minutes left. Let's uh -oh. go. Your next one is a simple table. All right. You want to join me on this one? You want to uh, draw one there? And I'll, I could draw, I'll draw standing it. on my head, <laughs> blindfolded, with my hands tied behind my back. I might hold you to that. <laughs> I might hold you to that. All right. So. Are you it, ready? It wants to start us with guide dots. Yeah, Let's go, ahead. go fast. Let's go fast. Okay, I don't need the guide dots. So it says guide dots. I'll do it slow for, for the sake of our uh, guys here. Done. All right, and then it wants me to draw <laughs> down and a little bit longer. Can they see mine? Let me move this. Yep, they can see that just fine. Good. Simple table. All right. And then it wants us to draw the I bottom of the I'd table. I have a chance to show off. I'm drawing a little bit slower <laughs> for the benefit. <laughs> His is better though. Of our, of our viewers. Yeah. Yes. It's just simple lines. It it's is. just simple lines. But it's it just looks how to 3D. connect them. Yeah, and then. I'm going to shave right, this side all right, all right. to show that the light is over there. Which side you shade? I shaded the left side. I'll shade. Oh, well. Because I'm left-handed. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, oh, next. There we go. Draw a little a bit of shading. Simple. Oh, you're showing. There we go. You ready to do another one? Ready, sir. Okay, do a simple witch hat. Oh, show the guys. Which hat? Yeah. That one? Show what this this guy did after the first oh. lesson. Or maybe, what does it say? I there? think here, I hope we can see that. Can no. You know, the focus doesn't really show. Oh. So it shows this really amazing collection of shapes and houses and lines and boxes. It says Isaac Burns, age 12. Um, this looks like a really cool, amazing, complex drawing, but uh, it's just simple techniques, just a lot of them over and over and over again into a really cool overlapping pattern. That's really great. Cool. So next is the simple okay. witch hat. Witch hat. Witch hat? Yep. That hat. 
<laughs> it, if we start with a with a thing like that, I laugh because it's funny. <laughs> uh, I'm easily amused, and then it wants us to draw a little arch to connect hey, to the getting, bottom. You're getting fast, and the guy fast isn't the important thing. Dots. Not being careful is. I'm not being careful. That's for sure. No one could ever accuse me of being careful in my drawing ever. Okay. And we got the back of the brim and the front of the brim. Perfect. Uh, oh, that's that that's that that's it. Okay, great. Good. So how about up in the corner you draw a little hat like that? Great, good. Um, I see traffic cone. Yeah, that's traffic cone too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's draw a top hat. See, you could learn to draw a traffic cone too. And then we're going to use that same technique. It's going to go off the page a tiny bit and then come back. But since we're being careful, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, hey. Yeah, yeah. I got two hats. Don't forget the little crumple thing. Oh, the crumple thing, right. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, but I am a teacher. Oh. <laughs> What? I don't know. See that line there? Mm hmm Oh, hello. <laughs> See, it's more fun when you have a, a teacher like me around. To... I missed a whole line, people. <laughs> there we go. We got two hats, and you can see it, it had me draw some lines in there to show it's kind of crumpled. OK, hurry up. Next, we have to do a. a... Up, 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 up. A surprise gift for mom. Okay. For all of you that uh, feel like you should have done, done more for your mother for Mother's Day, gotten her an extra gift. Or we're going to do that. You can afford now. a gift and you have to draw one. You know, those are some of the best. They are. Those are some of the best. So we're going to start with our diamond on the top. And then we're going to get some long Remember lines. The and then we are going to connect on the bottom. OK, we've got our cube. And now it wants me to do lines on the side like that. You're going to wrap it. Right, we're wrapping it. So zip, zip. And we've got the. Uh, You're doing a great job at not being careful, by the way. Thank you. You really are. Great. Um, I'm not trying to be careful. So that's probably why I'm not. Oh no, that line is crooked. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't do Just, a bad draw, job of drawing. I did a bad job of wrapping the present. <laughs> <laughs> so put a bow on it. All right, we're going to put a bow. We got okay, our. How much few, time we got? Few, few, few. Uh, we have four and a half minutes. Okay, so you have finished lesson one. If you're finished. We finished lesson one. How, do you have, show them your drawing. I will show them. Do you have anything here. else you want to add extra? Uh, you know, I, I'm going to add like just a little um, tag. There we go. All right. It says to mom. Oh, yeah. There we go. Awesome. James, you are, you pay attention to detail. All right. All right. So on this next Thing, yes. I need to time you. Okay. Because there's a little test at the end of each lesson. I hope that you all join me on this. Well, they don't have the book. Okay. But anyway, oh, maybe I see, some I do. See. Yeah. But anyway, here's the deal. Where's my stopwatch? Do you know where it is? All oh, right. There we go. So this will give us a time? Yep. Okay. So. You have to draw this thing here in 30 seconds. It's a simple table. Good. So I'll start you, and you tell me when you're done. Good. We're going to draw a table. You guys ready? Ready. Here we go. On your marks. You ready? Ready. OK. On your marks, get set, go. He's going pretty fast. Whoa! Tell me when you're done. Done. Boop. Um, 
It looks like you're between 15 seconds and 20 seconds. So pass. I drew a candle on it as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. All right. There we go. Little candle there, a little bit of shading. I'm not gonna draw a pig on it. Well, so the next, the next lesson in the draw squad is basically the next technique. And there's 10 techniques. Okay. And when you get them, it helps you to draw things in three dimension. That's, in fact, that's great. You, you almost can't do it, not draw in three dimensions because you know how to do it better, you know? It's yeah. Like, and, and drawing is something that you learn to do. It's not, it, it you know, like other subjects people um, teach you. Yeah. Well, drawing's the same. There's a actual techniques to making something look three dimensional. As we've just discovered yeah. today. As I newly discovered, I'm sure that many of you uh, are familiar with some of these techniques. I have not really tried to draw in a long time. Yeah, and it's really cool. I mean, you have to figure things out and you have to think, you know, how to do it. But what's nice about having a book that teaches you how to draw is you can look in the book. You can say, oh yeah, I can do, you know, you can pick a technique that you're not using maybe and it will help you to draw better. So it's nice to have a book that you can refer to. You can yeah. say, let me see. If you added a little more, like one of the techniques is shading. Maybe mm -hmm. you could add some more shading or, you know, and there's a couple different types of shading to get, you know, like that in little techniques and it helps you draw better. Well, I feel a lot better about my <laughs> drawing than I did 45 minutes ago. That's awesome. And I have been, um, yeah, I've made attempts on these webinars in the last two months with greater or lesser success, but this was the most successful. So thank you. You're much welcome. I hope that all of you enjoyed this. Uh, let me pull up really quick. I'm gonna take a quick second. I'm gonna edit one of these slides to add the email address that you will use. Okay. Events at Delphian.org. Go ahead and take a picture of what you drew today or the many things that you drew today. And you can email them into events at Delphian.org. We will see them. We will admire them. We will hang them on the wall and appreciate them for their, all their artistic worth. Um, and we might even acknowledge you. We will definitely acknowledge you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see if there's any last questions before we sign off. People saying, thank you, Rusty. Thank you, Rusty. Yes, exactly. Uh, now I know how to draw. Don't be careful. Exactly, Ron. Oh, Bear. wait, there's two more rules. Okay. So the first rule is don't be careful. Don't be careful. Okay. Second rule is don't be clumsy. Okay. Because, you know, you start messing things up, people aren't going to really want you to draw or paint. So that's the second rule. Don't be clumsy. And the third rule is be gentle. Okay. Because when you're working, you know, I mean, there's a time to use some force, but you also need to use the right amount of force. So it's basically, you know, you, you've got to be gentle with some things, you know? That's all. Good. Don't be careful. Don't be clumsy. Be gentle. I can do that. That's just a good philosophy for life, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us, everyone. I look forward to seeing your drawings and paintings and uh, crayon drawings and marker drawings and all this come into events at Delphian.org. And we will see you back for a whole nother lineup of webinars tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And thank you very much for being here. And thank you, Rusty. You're welcome. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>